Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 306. Uh, each week um, we meet here to answer the questions asked on the uh, SEO Questions uh, community on Google+, and also the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, with us today, we have uh, David Rosam. David is a digital marketer from the south of the UK, um, one of uh, the USA's uh, first SEO copywriters. He now consults locally and internationally in digital marketing. You can find David uh, at davidrosam.com and writingforseo.org. Uh, it's just us tonight. Um, the, the, the boys are at the, the Googleplex uh, at the, the um, Google uh, Product Experts Meetup. Um, ho hopefully they'll be back next week. But in the meantime, David and I will battle through. We call it the A team. Well, <laughs> I don't know about we. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, our first question tonight is from Jay Lowe. Um, it's titled, Is there any tool that can peep into a competitor's traffic sources? Is there any tool that can peep into the competi competitor's traffic source by devices? Also, okay. I want to... Um, Call out people like uh, Michael Martinez um, and um, uh, let me see. Michael Stricker, that was the other person I was trying to think of. Um, our forum heroes that answer questions uh, throughout the week as they're asked on in this one. Uh, this was done on Facebook. Um, but, yeah, our guys that um, jump in and answer these questions, um, we are truly grateful. Um, all right. Uh, any thoughts on this one, David? Um, I don't think there is. Um, I, I have similar, um, s similar worries about claims uh from nacho analytics and spyfu was the other one i think mentioned um yeah. but it's not um i i i, I that, that's my natural cynicism rather than um any um firm experience with either um the uh uh Part of me says, um, "Why not get a hacker to uh, hack into their uh, into your uh, competitors' um, um, Google Analytics account?" But then again, I shouldn't be um, I shouldn't be um, suggesting such things. So I shall withdraw that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, and it seems um, from Michael Martinez. Uh, and that uh, he says that there are no reliable third party traffic reporting tools. And uh, if Michael says that, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that's going to be the uh, going to be the, the, the strategy for tonight, is it? Um, if Michael says, says it, we'll go along with it. Well, let's hope he's answered every question that we might. <laughs> Excuse it's me. From Job and John, and he did ask me to make sure this was on uh, tonight's um, tonight's uh, hangout on air. He didn't realise it was just you and I, David. But um, anyway, he's asked. He did. He's, he's asked the question. Uh, um, he can't understand um, search engine journal. Um, publishing the same article twice, I found three, three, three copies of the same page. Um, and as Dan T said uh, in the comments, it, it could be the CMS doing that. But I wonder why anyone would write the CMS to do that. 
Um, the, the reason for the canonical tag, of course, is that you, you want um, the value to go to one of the pages. Why make three pages in the first instance? And I'll tell you what else I saw. Um, I, I saw, um, um, it was either this article or another article, um, but it, it had 1,300 shares. And yet when I took a link, uh, like, sorry, a, a block of text um, that would be likely to be unique and put it into Bing, um, I came up with two copies of that page. So where, where did these 1,300 shares go? You know, I call bullshit on that. Uh, the, the, the reason I, I looked at it is because uh, the uh, one that Job and John is talking about um, it, it's showing as um, having been published for an hour um, and it has 32 shares. I call bullshit on that too. Yeah, what, what do you think, David? Um, Sorry for calling you out, but it's pretty obvious if I say uh, uh, you guys, uh, you're the only one. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Um, I'm yeah. I'm concerned that uh, that this is uh, um, this is male cattle droppings, as you say. Um, I, I my feeling is uh, to go back to the the question rather than the uh, what the hell's going on with shares and such stuff question, which is perhaps a second a second one. It is a second one. Um, Yes, I I, th I think for some reason this is what search engine journals CMS is doing. It's um, it's producing these things in different ways and putting the same content on different URLs, um, and um, therefore search engine journal are doing the the sensible thing and canonicalizing one of them or canonicalizing two one of them if that is a correct um the correct thing so yes i, I think i think certain in journal of uh, it has, has had had this cms patch for a while um and um they just they've got a fix and they just carry on with it yeah one of the other pages that i found uh, had the same author um, but two completely different uh, titles. I said, I wonder if they're um, testing to see which one ranks first and then um, setting the canonical to that and dumping the other two. Oh, no, no, there might be no point to doing that. They, they just set the canonical to the, the one that uh, ranks best, I guess. Pretty scuzzy. Hmm. Anyway, that's the best we've got for you, Job and John. Um, the only thing I can suggest is um, uh, reposting a, a similar question um, this week and uh, more of the guys will be back uh, next week. Let's go to number three. This one from Dave Gaskin. <clears throat> it's... Uh, on creating a second version of my site in a different language. Um, Dave asked, uh, what's the best way to create a second version of a website in a different language using WordPress.com? If I wanted to create a second version of my website in a different language, how might I do that? Uh, note that the site is on the WordPress.com platform, so the, the, a, a plugin may exist. Oh, we've got a little bit more. I missed that. Mm. Uh, he said a corroll corollary to that question is whether or not the prompt from Google Chrome, uh, would you like to translate this page, does anything for Google's ability to index your site in a secondary language? My guess is no, and that would be my guess too. Um, but he says my guess is no because there is no crawlable file to be indexed. So I want to find a smart strategy for creating a second version of a site in a different language. Does anybody have any experience doing that or tips? 
Thanks all. We had no comments on this one, David. Yes. Um, right. Um, so, at the moment, Dave has, we shall assume, a, um, a, a, a site in English. Um, and he wants to... Um, he wants to have a version of it in, shall we say, French. Um, or if he's in the US, maybe Spanish. Um, and this is a this is a textbook um, reason to use uh, HRF Lang, is it not? Um, to create a second set of pages um, within the WordPress.com site. Um, and mark them up using hreflang to um to show wh where the canonicals are and where uh, uh and what um language and locality or country uh is being uh targeted with the the content on that page um the the there are some plugins that help you with hreflang um, I haven't used one for a while, um, and uh, the one I use seemed to be almost as much, um, almost as much work as doing it manually. Um, the last, <laughs> the last markup I did on the site, I did it manually. Um, so, um, yeah, I, th I think this is um, read up on href lang. Uh, and get your uh, get your site um, translated properly um, so that a, a native reader of that language can read it. Um, and the uh, would you like to translate this page supplementary uh, question? Uh, I'll go along with your answer, Dave. Um, no, um, that doesn't help. Um, yes, that's about it, I think. Thank you, David. Look, I agree with your href lang uh, totally, but um, with a proviso that um, it, it's not as easy as using Google Translate um, to create, a, a, say, a French version of the page uh, and put that up because, you know, we, we, we've seen examples in the past where people have done exactly that and it's tanked both of their versions. Um, the, the quality of, of Google Translate is, is improved, but it's it's not natural language um, because it's a, a literal a literal uh, um, translation word by word rather than um, sentence by sentence because Google probably doesn't have the computing power um, to be able to do sentence by sentence. Um, so. Um, yeah, I, 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 I would be very careful. If you've got uh, somebody that, uh, who is a native language writer in French and you want to do a French site, why not, if you've got a French market? Um, but personally, I, you know, um, I'm, I'm not a fan of copying sites. I think it's just, uh, yeah, that slippery slope into spamdom. Anyway. Let's move on to the... there, are, there are lots of good uh, translators around there, around, around about yeah. out there, whatever. Um, but you know, you've uh, if you're looking to do this on a shoestring, um, then as Jim says, it's you could find yourself in a hole. Um, if you want to do it in a different language, do it properly. Um, get um, a native speaker to do the translation. Yeah, uh, and um, um, there might be um, other reasons for, for using regionalization. Uh, um, there might be other things. I, I wouldn't make one side the identical copy of the other, other than the fact that it's in a different language. Mm. Anyway. Let's go to the next. This one from Jay Lowe. Google Analytics tracking code on a 301 redirected page. 
Um, if if a URL is being 301 redirected, um, will the browser still try to ex execute the Google Analytics tracking code or the Google Tag Manager snippet on the page? No, it won't. Uh, if so, would Google Analytics, um, Google Tag Manager still register a page view for that URL? No, it won't. Um, thank you, everyone. Any thoughts will be appreciated. What Jim said, no, it won't. Um, although Michael Martin is, uh, uh, says um, HTTP meta refresh directs, which many affiliate marketers use for their referral codes. Uh, I've come across that. I can't actually remember whether he's right or not. So I shall, um, I shall say that uh, Michael normally knows what he's talking about. So he's probably right. Yeah, I accept that um, Google specifically advises against uh, using uh, meta refresh uh, as a method of um, redirecting. Um, in the, it's, it's in the Google guidelines in black and white, but that could also mean that uh, it's effective. <laughs> that could also yeah. mean it's helpful. I, I was, uh, yeah, I, I, I took Michael's reply as being, um, uh, as, as providing information, not, um, uh, not actually saying, um, yes, d go out and do this. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, hairs. <laughs> we have 11 questions tonight, so we're, we're uh, almost at the half, uh, Halfway point. This one from TG Sumesh or Sumesh TG. It's titled The website title is not showing in Google search. Sumesh said that the right website title is not showing in Google search. Um, please let me know what is causing this issue. Uh, can any SEO person help on it? Uh, my website link is smartwebin.com thank you i see there's a uh, note there uh, from uh, uh, lyndon na um L lyndon uh, uh, a stalwart of the google webmaster community um in years gone by and um He's really holding the port for us uh, over on our uh, SEO questions uh, community on Google Plus, or at least for the next nine months until they close the doors and turn the lights off. Hmm. So, um, there's th this. <laughs> This is a very simple question that could lead to about two days worth of answers um, because it's it's one of those that um, you don't have a, a, a direct uh, guaranteed um, progress from what you put on your website to what Google displays about it. Um, so, and there are lots and lots of reasons why Google may not display what you expect or want to be displayed. Um, it can depend on uh, the quality of what you have in your title tag or your, uh, or, or any other, uh, or, or your um, description tag. Um, it can depend on the nature of the search. It can depend on what else you have on your your web page your your website um i think it's a it's a bit of a hide into nothing thinking that because you set something up in a in a uh, in such and such a way and that seems to be right that google will do this particular thing uh, google is always changing uh, what it's doing it's uh, it tries different ways to interpret and uh, and display uh, information about websites and um, i think that uh, the if if 
if um, if you're getting something that uh, says uh, that, that uh, you say the right website title, um, if it, if the website is about pink fluffy elephants, um, and it uh, and it's uh, the the title comes up as something about uh, four by four electric cars, um, then uh, then you're in trouble. Uh, but I don't think you're saying saying that. I think. Uh, what you're saying is it's not the same as uh, you've uh, you've put into your uh, your site. So it's um, it's Google. It's Google doing its doing its thing. And um, I don't think I can be more specific than that. Can you, Jim? Well, uh, the, the only thing I'd say is that um, I, uh, I, in um, a Google search, it comes up as smart web in dash. Uh, PHP web development bar web designing um, and of course um, that's different um, from his page um, which is uh, mobile app development bar PHP web designing and development bar software development company in Cochin, India um, and that's what shows when his page shows but mm. I uh, the cache of that page is the 19th of uh, October. So, in other words, uh, it's nearly a fortnight since that page was last crawled by Googlebot. I'm wondering mm -hmm. if um, um, Sumesh has um, edited the page. Um, and, I mean, Google's got a very stale index these days. But um, um, I, I wonder if... Um, what Sumesh is seeing is that um, um, on the 19th of October, uh, um, it was that, and sometime between now and the 19th of October, he's changed it to the new version. And so that's why the cause of his frustration, the, the fact of mm. Google stale index. The other thing is that without counting how many um, how many letters there are in that? That looks like one hell of a long title tag. It is. It's ridiculous. If you uh, if you think that's bad, have a look at the um, the meta name keywords. Um, here's a tip for you, Sumesh. Um, if you if you use the, the the meta keywords tag, put one or two words in it, no more. Um, but to put um, put about half the size of the Bible there. Um, if you put uh, that many words in there, you're going to get penalised. Simple as that. You you will, will be penalised. Um, Google and Bing uh, and uh, um, what's the one from Russia? What's the one from Russia? Help me here, David. Um, Kappa.org. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, why can I think oh. of it? Yes, well, the, the Russian one. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> oh, dear. I can't think of it either. Uh, Yandex, that's what it is. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Bing. Um, okay, so Yandex, <laughs> uh, um, but, um, Yandex Bing, and, and Google all say they don't use the meta keywords tag. Um, and Bing specifically says you will be penalised if, if you spam it. And you definitely spammed it. So I'd clean that out straight away and just yeah. put, put, a, put a single uh, phrase in there. Um, it's, it's certainly not doing you any good right now, so maybe try that. I would um, I, I would say, and this is what I um, this is what I say to all my clients: don't put anything in the meta keywords tag. Uh, there aren't any um, obvious um, gains to be had from it, um, and if you do it badly, uh, you'll get a downside. So it's it's a lose lose situation. Just stay clear of the damn thing. Yeah. Also, um, uh, I see uh, Link Rail Short Link um, is uh, his root, oh no, his dub 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 domain. 
Uh, the publisher name is uh, his uh, HTTP full colon slash www.smartwebin.com. Link rel author is the same. Um, meta name original source is the same. Are you kidding me? Anyway. Sorry, Sumesh, uh, I got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really perfectly nice underneath it all. <laughs> all right, let's um, move on to. The well, next. we'll debate that later. Um. Yeah. Nazman <laughs> Suma, I'm migrating from dub 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 to non dub dub dub. Um, Nazman said, could you please help? I worked for a cryptocurrency education platform where recently we migrated our website um, to dub, uh, from dub, dub, dub to non dub, 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 and now Screaming Frog is showing multiple redirects. The website is in Drupal, so we had to redirect node uh, to custom URL. Um, you know that Drupal generates uh, the node automatically. Uh, I didn't know that. Um, now, I have two redirects on the same page. Um, one is uh, HTTP redirect, www to uh, HTTP or non www. Um, let me just stop that. Um, Okay, um, so it's double clip. Oh, I, I, okay, so the first one is a reader. These links, by the way, can be read. I won't try and read them all out uh, letter by letter, um, but they can be seen on, on the uh, Google Plus uh, community, our, our, our community there, uh, SEO questions. By the way, i just looking there, David, uh, today, uh, mm -hmm. We have over 39,000 members there. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. Yes. A few old blokes dithering, and, and, and it's 30, got 39,000 people having a look. Anyway, um, all right, so she's saying um, that um, it's redirecting from dub, dub, dub to non dub, dub, dub. And the other is oh yeah the, the drupal thing node one two three uh to um the non dub 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 uh example dot a i don't think that there, there's a problem there um because um that you would need a, 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 a different code. Um, in the first one, you'd test for, for no, a node one, two, or node something. Um, and if, if, if that, that's the condition, then uh, it would redirect uh, to the non dub dub version. Um, I don't see it. That it's a problem to have uh, two different redirects in your HT access, providing they're referring to two different um, versions of the page. Anyway, let's uh, look, uh, Nazman. Uh, uh, that's probably not the best answer for you. Uh, I'm sure that there's probably uh, better. Let me check the, the comments here and maybe. Uh, we will have um, something. There are no comments in what I'm looking at. Ah, I see. Um, all right. Um, I will. Um, what will I do? Um, I'll see if I can follow it up in the morning and um, I'll find a Drupal expert and um, see if we can get a better handle on, on your question, Nazman. Okay, the uh, next one is from JL Favario. Um, it's titled, If You Change Content Every Day, Can That Help or Hurt Local Search Engine Results Pages? 
Well, it depends on how often you're being crawled. You'd want to be crawled at least uh, one or two times a day if you're going to change copy every day. Um, um. In the community answers. In the community answer, he said, what do you tell a client who wants to change the homepage copy multiple times a week? Um, when well, you'd have to be aware of the frequency of Googlebot crawling the homepage. Mm. And why, why is the, uh, the clients wanting to do this? Um, is this because he or she has read somewhere that it's a good idea to keep you, your content fresh and therefore wants to change that copy every day because that's going to make it fresh? Or is there actually a reason for it? Um, is there some information that's really important to the to the business that needs to change every day? Do do, do prices change according to uh, a marketplace? Say then, I guess you would uh, put that on. So your um, your metal sheeting that you're selling uh, changes according to market price. Perhaps don't know. Um, you uh, you uh, do it. Um, your your pork bellies. You're selling according to pork belly futures or something. Um, but if you're just doing it for the uh, for the sake of of changing it, then uh, very bad idea, I would say. Yeah. Um, although I'm, I'm, I must say that was a good answer. I just read from Michael Stricker. Daily wholesale changes of majority of copy meta structure may be best suited to deals and offers websites, news websites, sports scores websites, financial announcements. He said quality deserves freshness territory. Difficult to see how this regard or expectation from Google would suit a local site unless it is local news. Mm. I think um, I, 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 as a, uh, my, Michael is really saying that the, the same thing uh, as I said there. Does it, you know, are, are the changes required? Um, is, is there a reason for them? Um, and if it's just, just to, to have some um, strange and wrong notion of freshness there, then um, then don't do it. Yeah. You know, whether that will cause problems with your ranking, I don't know, but it'd certainly be a waste of time. Yep. Look at that. Um, every uh, um, all bases covered. Tim Kapper agrees with us, uh, David. Does he? Um, from the comments. Mm hmm and uh, Michael Martinez uh, sagely says uh, uh, every blogger who publishes uh, multiple posts per week um, changes their homepage several times a week. I wouldn't worry about it. What I worry about is how the site represents what the client wants the public to see. All right, so let's um, move on and... Um, Check the next one, number eight. Three to go after this one, David. Okay. Um, this one from Amaya Desh Pand. Um, it's on a lead image in a rich snippet. He said, I have a, she said, I have a, a lead image uh, that is intended to support the content. I'm implementing schema markup on my site. Um, will the lead image be crawled and including uh, included in the rich snippet? And the answer is it depends. Yes, it depends. There's um, <clears throat> the uh, the question is not quite uh, giving us enough information here. 
and whether um, schema markup is more or less being equated to rich snippets. Um, I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> the, the thing with, with images, although you can uh, use them uh, within schema markup, there are references to the, um, <clears throat> in some schema, there, there are re references to, um, to image files. <clears throat> Um, so sure, but I think the key thing here of getting um, getting your uh, image showing uh, in results generally is to make sure that your uh, your image title is um, is relevant um, and that your um, your your alt tags are completed properly and your description tags and all of those things that give uh, Google some um, feeling or some knowledge of what, what this image is. So um, I would make sure that you've got all of that stuff um, marked up. Um, and I think that that would probably give you as much chance of getting your, uh, your image um, displayed as, um, as doing this within schema, but that is a that's a guess rather than a uh, a definite um, uh, a definite experience, shall we say? Thank you, David. I, I think I'll call that an answer because um, snippets aren't my strong point. Not that I have a strong point, but anyway. Scott Hodgkiss um, has a question titled Misconfigured uh, um, Secure Sockets Layer. Um, he said, we have had a, a, an SSL certificate expire on one website. We got a new one the same day, but we didn't set it up correctly. One week on and our rankings have plummeted across the whole website. No content or structure changes have been made, so I'm presuming it's down to the misconfigured uh, SSL. Um, he goes on to say, there is no warning in Search Console. Um, has anyone had the same issues? Um, I haven't had the same issues. Um, one of um, one of the um, one of the gotchas, if you like, of using um, what's the what's the free SSL certificate? The Let's encrypt. Let's encrypt. Okay, yeah, of using that is that it needs um, it needs updating every few months. Um, and um, one of my sites, I forgot to put a uh, a reminder. That this was uh, this was having to be done, and I was about three days late um, updating the uh, um, the the the, uh, the certificate, um, and um, no, no nothing bad happened. Um, there's not a great deal of uh, uh, of traffic. It's not a huge traffic site, um, but. Um, nothing happened now i wonder whether that's just because i was lucky um with uh the with, with google not spidering it well well things were wonky um maybe you were um maybe you were unlucky uh and, and google rumbled you um i don't know is the answer i haven't got the direct answer uh direct experience uh, of that happening uh, as i say when when something similar happened to me it didn't uh it didn't cause a problem but uh, as i say there's there's the obvious question of when was it spidered by by google and it could be that uh, it was spidered the day before um the uh, the the the, the, um, the certificate expired um and it um and then once i've got it 
up and running again. Um, it's uh, I was spidered after that, or the the the, uh, uh, the site was spidered after that. So, uh, what do you think, Jim? Well, again, I, I um. I don't think I have enough um, to um, to make a comment. Um, no, I, I don't. I, I'll have to renege. Um, yeah, let's go to the next one, David. Right, this one from Jason Hyang Chul Kang. Um, it's via Facebook. Its title is The Best Way to Explain SEO to My Grandparents. Um, let me see what everybody else said. SEO is like a club. The more qualified you are, the more likely you are to get in. If you have references, then that is even better. If, the, the la if a leader is a reference, um, that is even better. Um, Dave Elliott said it's getting websites to the uh, top of Google. Prince Molag said, buy them Alexa. Tell them afterwards that you are one of those people feeding it with what to say. David Kucher said that you know when you Google something to search for it online, I help it get found, show up first and help businesses get more sales as a result. Um, Jennifer Antoon and town maybe, um, said digital website marketing. You're a digital website marketer, Dan. I believe I am, yes. <laughs> I, must, I must check on my website. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eric M. Hoover said, just tell them you work for Google. That's what my parents think. I've never told them that for the record. Jeff Ferguson said, remember the phone book SEO is like... Uh, if you got to control the white pages beyond uh, alphabetical order, and Dan T said, if they use search engines, it's pretty easy. You help people show up in the search results. The same thing works for non-limited search marketers. And Roger Monty, Roger Monty said, don't bother, just say web design. Jeremy Knopf uh, agrees. Jenny Halaz said, I work with computers. Um, yeah, okay. Um, Roger Monty said, um, again, uh, I just answered why a relative's Gmail stopped working. No, it's not the router, you're logged out, you have to log back in again. Did you try uh, turning it off and turning it on, on again? Um, and Jared Ann will said that, well, I've got to recommend Jenny's, but otherwise, improving websites, places in search results. I would keep well away from Jenny's um, because you'll get everyone with a uh, with, with a buggered Windows 10 machine waving it underneath your nose saying, I can't use it, something's wrong with it. And you'll spend weeks trying to fix it. So please do not say I work with computers. <laughs> <laughs> I say that with feeling. I've had it happen. Yep, and I, I would have said, um, I would have thrown in heuristics. Heuristics has got to be there. Intensive data analysis um, with the objective you have pretty, of, of improving. You have pretty, uh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, go on. Yeah, I, I, my mouth, I, I, I'm talking over the top of you and I shouldn't do that. That's rude. All right. Here's one from Neil Cheeseman. Uh, it's on Facebook author and publisher tags. On a WordPress bracket, single author slash publisher slash a bracket uh, website, when or uh, slash why um, would you want to add uh, via Yoast the Facebook author and publisher tags? Scott Clark uh, gave us the right answer, I think. Um, he said, so that when the posts are shared, authorship and other graph data is preserved. It makes for well-constructed social posts that inherit the metadata of the original. It's, um, 
it's a little bit anal, isn't it, when uh, when Google has stopped taking any notice of author and publisher tags, having got very enthusiastic about them for five minutes a few years back. Yeah, but this is Facebook's um, author and, and publisher. Yeah, I, I know, but why why would you want them uh, on Facebook? Oh, I, uh, yes, I see what you mean. Uh, but, okay. My idea, I'm well, loving what, what Scott, uh, what, what you... Scott Clark has to say. Uh -huh. I won't try and read it out. Um, oh, but, okay. Um, do, 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 yes, look, I, I recommend anybody uh, reading this question to have a look at uh, what um, uh, Scott um, Clark has said on the uh, Facebook. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he says, my two cents. Well, I think he just gave us two dollars worth. Yes. Um, I should have to read that properly when I'm not not on this thing. Oh, I love it. I, I could read this all day. Doesn't make for good viewing, though. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Yeah, but no, I, I think anybody uh, who wants to see um, or, or get a handle on uh, uh, Google Plus uh, authorship and publisher uh, to have a look at uh, David. Uh, Sorry, uh, Scott Clark's answers uh, in our Facebook group. Just look for posts by Neil Cheeseman. All right. Um, I think when I click this button, yes, it is. It's that time again. Um, uh, did you have anything you wanted to add before we go, uh, David? Um, no, no. Um, no, nothing at all. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to be given the option. Uh, well, I can. I can today um, because there's only two of us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, right. um, look, no yeah. one misbehaving this week as, as normal. <laughs> we got through them, sort of. We did. I think we did well. Oh, cool. Okay. So thank you for watching. It, 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 when, when you're seeing this... Uh, at a later time, we appreciate uh, your interest. Um, your interest in what we do makes what we do worthwhile. Um, we'll be back at the same time next week uh, to do this uh, all again. Um, but for now, it's good night. And thank you.